Hey everyone, today we're walking down to a clogged culvert. It's been clogged for a while. We first noticed this culvert clogged about two years back, but today we're coming to take a look at it, see if there's anything we could possibly do. And on another note, got a little bit of sad news today. I have lost my rake. So here's my replacement. This is a rake made by Sears. Looks pretty nice. As you can see, it's all painted and sh it's all painted and rusted. My old one was really shiny because it got used so much. But here's what happened to the old one. It didn't break or anything. On our travels last month to Pennsylvania, we were staying at Home Depot and Walmart parking lots, which allow overnight sleeping for camping. And the way we travel is everything from the back of the vehicle has to go into the front passenger and driver's seat for there's room to sleep. And during the transfer, somehow the rake got left on the ground. And I know it did, because I remember leaving it on the ground, but we just forgot to pick it up. And we did it so many times, we don't know what Walmart it was at. Because we always try to keep the video simple with as few tools as possible. So we don't exactly know what was the last day we used the rake. Anyways, we're here at the clog. Check it out. See all the ripples right here? Water backs all the way up in here during a storm. Take a look at this whole area floods because it can't fit into the culvert. Now we're going to attempt to locate it up here. You see snow everywhere, but today's actually pretty warm. It's 60 degrees right now. Probably even going to take my jacket off. Take a look at this. Got a nice waterfall coming down here. But, um... Where's the culvert? It's going to be here somewhere. See the water? It's going in right here. And I imagine the entrance would be right here at the bottom of this hill. See the water's just sinking into the ground. Culvert is going to be here somewhere. Do not have high hopes of finding it, but... We're gonna first try to go over to the other side and see if we can find the exit so we can track it. See a bunch of other people's footprints here. Oh, it's a steep hill. Good news is it's gonna be a lot easier going back up because you don't have to worry about stopping yourself from sliding. Now this is definitely a trail of footprints. Workers coming down here, old telegraph cable. And got some good trees to hold on to now. I'm hoping to locate the other side of the culvert by walking down this hill, hopefully without falling. As you can see, the trail just keeps going. This might be one really deep culvert. Pushing my feet into the ground sideways. Thankfully, the ground's not frozen. Being able to stick my feet in like that is so helpful. And it's gonna be one heck of a workout getting back up this hill I'm, it just keeps dropping and dropping look at this trail so steep I hope it's going to the culvert I imagine it's going to the culvert why else would this trail with footprints be here because the culvert's the only thing out here hoping that's where it's bringing us wow look at all this coal dust all right so where are you, Culvert? Satellite doesn't work out here. No signal. Looking carefully, I see water down there, but that's a river. Okay, keep on going a little ways. Holding on to some trees. Oh, the trail appears to be going still. But it's getting faint. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's some kind of barrel. And it has the white and green checkers. Oh, it's a whole ton of 55 gallon drums just discarded off the hill. All right, we're gonna keep going until we find something, hopefully. All right, everybody, this hill's a lot bigger than it looked. Okay, I think we may have located the culvert. What do you guys think? Doesn't look too well. 
there's water coming out of the ground right here. Is that possible that this is the culvert? There's not really much helping it. Look, look how small that hole is it's coming out of. Do you know what I think happened here over the years? Possibly a mudslide, it covered up the end of it. Cause I imagine it would be a big cast iron culvert or a big granite box culvert. But it's coming out of right here. This little hole, that's not the pipe. It's probably somewhere else in here. This appears to be an oxygen tank for the air brakes on a really old steam train, which is in relatively good condition. Look at that. That's in relatively good condition. Oh my gosh. Would love to have that thing, honestly, as like a decoration in the yard, honestly. Nice. Great condition, doesn't have any holes rusted through it yet. Let's get that thing back up here. Oh, where I found it. That's probably the most excitement that thing's had for in a long time. Probably better to get it out of here, actually. Yeah, it's probably better where I just had it. Get it out of the way of that culvert. Yeah. Come on out of here. Because it's in the way of it. Now at least maybe if there's pressure, this thing can dig itself out a bit more. But this already looks like a losing battle. Because look, I think it's a granite box culvert. And I imagine it would be big enough to walk in if it wasn't all clogged up. We're going to keep walking a bit. I have minimal confidence this is going to work. Because you saw how small the exit is there. No matter how careful I could be on the other side, removing the debris by hand, debris is still going to get through, and it's going to fastly clog up that little hole. I'm walking down here because I'm hoping that's not the culvert. I'm going to keep searching a little while, looking at these cliffs for any kind of running water. Because that little trickle you see coming out of there does not appear to be as much as the other side you saw. The other side looked like there was a lot of water coming down that waterfall. But, I'm pretty sure that is it. The reason that there's not much water coming out, because it's backing up. I believe a lot of it's just seeping through the hill. Oh, look at this nice stream. Beautiful switchbacks. All the red thickets. What a beautiful little place. And there's even a pond up here. Yeah, there's a pond. Super duper cool. Now, before we walk up, I want to walk down that way a good 100 feet. If we don't find any trickling, it'll be 100% that little hole we saw the water coming out of. Hey, look at this. Proof that there's beaver friends out here. That looks like it got chewed by beavers a good 10 years ago. And it healed because they gave up on cutting it down. Okay, so there's that really cool tank. And... Now we gotta make our way over here a little bit. I'm gonna plot my location right here on Google Maps so when I'm up above, I can look exactly where it's straight to see where it is on the other side. But like I said, if I even start unclogging it, the debris that's gonna get loosened up and pass through the pipe will likely block it here, forming a bunch of pressure, which is not gonna open it because the ground is so covered in plants that are holding it together. Look at all these squared off stones. You can see they chisel these away and made these and they threw them down the hill for who knows why okay we will try to meet back up with that coal trail now that i've plotted over there we don't have to go back this may be something see how it's like made like this it looks like this is meant for wa lots of water to pass so we're going to go up through this cavity right here and see if there's a culvert pipe up there possible getting my exercise for today oh yeah beautiful moss 
It looks like water's supposed to go through here. Look at this, the moss is dripping water. It looks like when it rains, a lot of water comes tumbling down here. So it's possible there's a culvert at the top of this. And look at all these cavities here, little caves. Hopefully we don't run into some animal. Now that we're getting up in here, there's a bunch of water inside the cavity starting to form and pieces of old railroad remnants. Don't want to fall down in the holes. There's a bunch of them here. All right. So what do we got? I'm losing the trail. Here's some metal buckets that the railroad spikes are shipped in. You see, these were definitely chiseled away, these rocks. They were made to put here as baffles. Look at this. Whole bunch of smaller, appears to be 20 gallon drums of something. There's another one up there. Whole hill is littered with also, also 55 gallon drums. Not concerned at all about the iron. This stuff is gonna rust back into the environment. What I'm concerned about is, look at that one. It's got creosote or some other crud coming out of it into the environment. Iron will just rust right back in. But creosote has unknown effects on the environment. Okay, it's also a bunch of railroad ties. Back in the day, they were allowed to discard them, not anymore. All right, this right here, you could tell, fills up with water. This has recently had water in it. This is not a culvert going up there to the tracks. No, it is not. It looks like water would come from this side, which is really cool, these caves. Did not expect to see all this. And what's this cave right here? It could be a bear den. You never know. Wow. I'm kind of scared, honestly. I could definitely fit in there. It actually doesn't go very far. It only goes in like four feet. It's so cold with the dripping water right here. There's still some icicles from the past few nights. It's actually really hot out for this time of year. And this is really nothing. We gotta find our way back up now. So this is how it is to track down those culverts. So this walking around now is just to prove myself right. That little trickle of water coming out of the ground is definitely from the culvert. But as you saw, there's definitely a ton more water coming down the other side on that waterfall than is coming out of the culvert here. And that's because the majority of it is going through the hill. And over time, that actually could cause some sinkholes underneath the train tracks. Now we gotta carefully make our way we're not going to go back down this. We're going to kind of go here along the hill. It looks like some animal trail. And that will meet up with the coal dust trail. All right, making our way back. That's the barrel I was telling you guys about. It's pretty cool. See how it's checkered with the white and green? Made it back to the coal trail. So the only really way for them to clear the end of that culvert is a fairly inexpen inexpensive option and there's an expensive option number one would be go down there with a machine it looks just like a chainsaw but it's made for cutting through roots earth and sometimes with the right blade even rock this machine would do perfectly if a few workers lugged it down there to clear the end of the culvert and expensive option would be you got to cut down trees here bring an excavator down then you got to fix the hill so it doesn't erode now that you just cut down all the trees. Because down there, there's a possibility that if the culvert is deep enough, the whole end of it is filled with silt. And that's how it got that way. But I seem to think 
the culvert's a little way up the hill and more of a landslide is what covered it. I am so out of breath now, but thankfully no one stole the rake. We didn't lose a second rake in a week. All right, we're back to this side. And like I said, there's not much we can do here because we don't know if the culvert is right here. Actually, it wouldn't be here in the center. You see where it's trickling downwards? It's possible it would be right here, but the possibility goes all the way up to here. It's a good 10 feet of space where it's possible. Now, it'd be very easy for this company to locate the culvert here because they don't have a massive hill they have to drive down right here. We're just cutting down a couple of trees. An excavator could go over this right here. Not even having to cut the big trees down, just a few of the thickets in the way. Easily get down here. So, we will take a small attempt at this just to see if we can possibly locate it. Do not have high hopes. This is a massive job that should not be taken on by hand. But it's not like I'm just gonna get sucked into it today. When we came here two years ago to look at it, water was maybe six inches, which, uh, don't wanna take your chances. If you open up a big hole and that start pouring in there with you, you're in deep trouble. Today, there's not much flow. And you can see by the evidence, this thing sometimes fills up with about two feet of water, which is nowhere close to washing out the hill. But like I said, there's evidence not this much water was coming out the other side. So it's trickling through the hill somewhere. And there is a slim possibility it's creating some kind of cavity inside the hill. Okay, time to get to work. But I've worked up such a sweat, I gotta take my jacket off. It probably looks cold to everybody with this snow, but most of the snow has melted today. It's 60 degrees. So basically, we're just gonna keep digging this trench. And just at this moment, I realized we are completely in a losing battle because you see how the water is following the trench I made? Yes, because it's getting it closer to the opening of the culvert. But most likely, this is a big, granite box culvert. Granite box culverts have really, really, really thick walls and ceilings. So you know what that means? I might dig here for a long time, then I might actually hit the culvert. So as soon as I hit the top of the culvert, you know what that means? I'm probably gonna have to dig down a good foot more until we actually get to the opening of the culvert. Then, chances are, this culvert is a three to five foot tall ceiling. If we wanted to open that thing completely, it would probably take a team of people with shovels excavating this thing for a couple days straight. It's a job for an excavator because right now we're starting to get in there. You see a lot of these sticks are rotten that are contributing to the clog. This clog, I would assume, is a few decades old, probably half a century old. They're just not doing maintenance on it. The culvert got blocked by a bunch of sticks and then mud and debris kept building against it, making a wall. As you can see, it is still operating to an extent just by seeping through the ground and finding its way there. But this is not a job that can be done by hand. It would take days and days to excavate this whole area. I will try contacting the train company a second time after two years. They're not gonna come out here and do it if they didn't do it the first time. There's nothing we can do to get them to do this. I just had to do that, that's so fun. And look at that, it's not even filling up the cavity I made. I think just doing that little bit of digging made the ground, I dug down to a more porous area that the leaves were kind of blocking. 
That's why it's not filling up. It's gonna handle that whole puddle pretty easily. Anyways, everybody, hope this video was interesting on how we locate a culvert. We locate the end of it, and over here, from my plotting on the map and looking over here, see my gloves, from the gloves over about five feet, that's the range where the culvert definitely is. But from that range, it could be anywhere from the gloves out here, 10 feet. So there's a good 10 by five area that we'd have to dig, and we probably have to dig at least three feet to even hit the top of the culvert. That's how bad this thing is. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, you can see right here, the culvert pipe, how it's not deep in the ground is making this big bump. You can even see the edges. They've replaced this since the road was paved. And we have a small blockage we're gonna remove. And recently, an idiot with an excavator has hit it. Look what they did. Look at that. It's still attached down there. Can we even get that out? The clog is definitely caused by this. I don't know if we can even get that off. No, I don't think we can. All right, I got one of them off. Broke, and I almost fell backwards into the puddle, but I caught myself. Now let's get that blockage out of here. We're sending a big leafy slurry. Well, we're gonna try to. You know what's happening? Let me explain this. You see, flow did start accelerating in there, but this is gonna take a bigger storm to wash all this out. Here's why. As the ground is settling, this culvert has two different sections. In the middle of it's about right here. This is the crown, it has to go over a crown. That end is dipped. Really beautiful how the sun is filtering through the fog because it's really warm out and all the snow is starting to melt. Hey everybody, today we're traveling on this road and we're checking out some culverts and we're also going to be cutting up a few trees that are blocking the road as we come across them. We already got one and I'm sure there's going to be plenty more.
right. I gotta stop here if no one hits this quickly. We gotta get out. Whoa, thankfully no one came.